Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness representing Bridge the Valley's Bike Rally coming up on August 14th. We're here to help you get your body prepared for the bike ride by showing you some common exercises you can do to bulletproof your ankles. Most of us have a common issue with excess plant deflection, meaning we push down too much through our calves and that reduces our ankle dorsiflexion, giving us the ankle mobility that we need to engage the back side of our body or the back side musculature. So today we're going to show you a couple quick releases and activations to improve the health of your ankles so you can enjoy your bike ride and get the most out of the bike rally coming up again on August 14th. Any questions on any of today's content, reach out at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Let's get started. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is show you how to release a commonly overactive muscle called the gastrocnemius. This is a mobility drill. You're going to need a lacrosse ball or some other type of ball to do the drill. We know that the muscle is responsible for plantar flexing the ankle down. It's on the back side of the lower extremity, and it's again a superficial muscle. There's two heads, a medial and a lateral, inside and out, and again they lay on top of a bigger muscle called the soleus. Now these muscles are responsible for plantar flexing and propulsion when we're in our gait cycle or even on a bike. Sometimes they're overactive and so it makes us unable to pull the toes up. It's going to change the natural ankle glide and create some complications up into the knee and the hips. We want to keep them nice and mobile. So to do that we're going to use this ball. You're going to go into a seated position. You're going to put your leg right on top of that ball and you're going to compress the muscle between the ball and your tibia. It's the lower leg bone, the bigger of the two. Now I'm going to cross my leg over to create enough pressure into that ball or into the tissue that I take all the stretch resistance out of the muscle. So again, I'm taking the slack out and pushing down, but I'm trying not to create pain. I'm going to hold that muscle there for about 30 seconds to two minutes until I feel the nervous system's resistance, because there's going to be a reactive stretch resistance from the nervous system. It'll relax, and that's called a passive inhibition. Once I get that to calm down, the muscle will soften, you'll feel it kind of sink in like jello. Once you get to that point, you can start pulling your toes up towards your nose, and that's going to pull the muscle underneath the pressure of that ball and help to break down some of these collagens that are binding the tissues and holding it hostage so it'll reduce your range of motion and your mobility. And again, we want to make sure that as we're doing that and we're flossing that tissue, actively stretching the tissue, that we don't provoke pain. You can do that again for another 30 seconds or 60 seconds, but when we're done, the goal would be that you should see an improvement in ankle dorsiflexion, meaning the toes should get closer to your tibia, and then that sets the ankle up to receive the strength exercise that we're going to do next, targeting the tibialis muscles that do the opposite of what that muscle does. So that's next. Questions on this? Again, reach out, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Okay, now that you've released your gastroc muscles, we're going to be targeting a muscle called the anterior tibialis muscle. It's responsible for, again, pulling the toe up. So it's the opposite action of plantar flexion, and that's called dorsiflexion. Now again, that's going to help to retain or restore the mobility of the ankle so that you can get a nice ankle glide. In fact, you want to know that the ankle can glide about 20 degrees of ankle dorsiflexion so that the knee can travel forward so it has sufficient forward translation to keep your center of gravity when you're walking or during gait or when you're on a bike. Again, you want to make sure that you have that orientation for appropriate knee tracking and hip tracking mechanisms. So to do that, what we're going to do is go up against the wall. This is called a wall dorsiflexion drill. You're going to pull your toes up towards your shin, stabilize your hips by engaging your core. You're going to crunch and squeeze your butt. Pull your toe up towards your tibia or towards your, your shin or your nose and then shift your weight onto your heel by taking the other leg up and you're going to feel some tension in that tibia and you're going to let that toe gently come down to the ground to a count of six. Put your weight back on the opposite side, pull the toe up back to the shin, shift your center of weight again back on that heel and slowly let that ankle decelerate down. And again you're going to be using your own body weight as leverage and that will target that tibialis muscle right on the front of the shin and we want to rebalance the force between the gastrox that we released in the front of the muscles on the front of the shin so that the ankle can sustain that mobility for longer periods of time. We don't have to keep on using the ball to get there. 
Again, this is a tibialis drill focusing on using your own body weight to improve the strength. Six seconds of eccentric down, set up again, pull the toe up, and then do it again. You do two sets of 20 repetitions with a minute of time in between each set. Again, questions, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video tutorial on your ankles. Remember, we want nice strong feet, mobile ankles, and the ability to dorsiflex through the ankle. If you have any questions on the content, reach out at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. And we look forward to seeing you all out there for the Bridge the Valley Bike Rally, August 14th. We'll see you soon.